Today I want to walk you through the steps of setting up a new company in Microsoft Dynamics GP. We're going to go to All Programs, Microsoft Dynamics, GP 2010, and GP Utilities. And this is going to open up the login window for the GP Utilities. You must be logged in as System Administrator to perform this task. You'll click next to go past the utilities welcome window and then the system is just going to check to see that you're on the current version and everything is synced up right and it is. And we're going to choose the option to create a company which is the default and we'll simply click on process. The next thing we need is to create a company ID and this is going to be the SQL Server database name. So you want it to not be too many characters and then you'll enter in an additional name. This will be the name of your database, your company name in other words. You'll opt whether or not you want to load a default payment terms and shipping methods and you can even load sample chart of accounts so that they'll already be set up. So you can select which kind of company you are and what industry you're in. I'm going to actually select um, a service company. And then you could choose to copy access from an already existing company. And then click on Next. You click Next past the default lo path locations and then you're ready to begin. You could review all your data as you have it set up. You may choose to copy all of this and paste it into a Word document so you can see how you've set it up and click finish and the installation process will begin running for you. Now this will take a while so we'll stop and check back in in just a moment. Okay now that it's finished creating all the tables we get a couple of questions about setting up the company. Do we want to set up the company later? Do we want to set up the company using the configuration wizard or migrate existing data? I'm going to choose to set up the company later and click next. And now I'll launch Dynamics GP and I'll log in I'll choose my new company the first time you log in takes a little bit longer than each time after that if you have a lot of additional products or additional modules in GP it'll start creating those tables for you as you go through as you can see it's creating the HRM or the human resources module right now. And now it's all set up. So what I'm going to do is just click OK and close out the manufacturing series service and you can see I'm in Great Plains. Now SQL Server reporting service is not set up for this company yet so that's why I'm getting an error message there. But I'm in Great Plains and if you go into the financial system and accounts you'll find that I have sample accounts set up because I chose to set up some default account numbers. So, this is a great way to work, so if you need to add a new company, I hope this helps.